gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road Cause I, 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 I Wanna try Do the summer night And when we We, we, we So we are headed on a little bit of a homesteading adventure. If you've watched our channel, you know that I do not like the idea of getting bees, but because I'm a caring and loving husband, I uh, got Jill a beehive for Christmas. So um, our bees have arrived, we've ordered bees, and they are ready for us to go pick them up. It is eight o'clock on a Wednesday, and we are off to go pick up the bees. The reason I'm talking and Jill is not uh, is actually just because she has a little bit of laryngitis. She lost her voice. So she's actually behind the camera, running the camera for me. Uh, but anyway, I'm uh, along for the ride. I might stay uh, safely inside the cab of the pickup truck because I'm a chicken when it comes to bees. Chicken, bees, get it? All these homesteading jokes. Um, no, i probably get out. I want to see what's going on. I'm not actually that scared of the bees, but I don't probably want to handle the, the actual um, nest. I think it's called, no it's not. It's called a nook, not a nest. But the reason that Jill ordered a nook of bees, as opposed to just getting a pack of bees or, or a container of bees or a, a bag of bees, is because the, uh, the nook is already acclimated to some of the, um, the hive. The, they actually have built some of their hive already and they're really acclimated to the queen bee already. So the cool thing is, and Jill will probably explain this when she gets her voice back, but we're gonna basically take, first tonight we're getting the bees and just setting them on top of the hive that we have. And then we're actually gonna take the racks that are gonna go inside the hive um, uh, the ones that were in there in the middle, we're going to take them out, the ones that are in our hive, and put these in instead, and in the middle, and then leave um, the outer hot, uh, racks in there, um, and then they'll just kind of basically grow into the rest of the hive. So that's how it's supposed to work. I think we're going to transfer them in tomorrow, right? And um, so for tonight, they just sit on top kind of and get used to their surroundings, and then of course because the queen's there, they all stay put. And then, why do they not just fly away? I'm not sure, but they're gonna stay there. And then tomorrow, Jill is gonna dress up in a bee suit. <laughs> and I'm not gonna be around to film this, but I wish I could. Maybe the kids will film it. But Jill's gonna dress up in a bee suit and actually put the bee, the bees in the hive. Um, because they've already worked on some of these hives uh, or some of the hive racks or whatever, um, they're they're probably gonna produce honey for us within just a few months already. That's kind of cool too. We get kind of a faster track to our first harvest of honey. But we are on a really interesting journey. We've never, done, we don't know anything about bees other than what we've read in books, what Jill has read in books. So um, I'm sure things can go wrong. I'm hoping they don't. I'm hoping that we don't learn any lessons the hard way and that we can uh, safely and successfully raise a beehive. And then if it works well, and I don't get stung, um, and Jill doesn't get stung, <laughs> because she's never even been stung by a bee. She's been stung by a hornet, hornet and wasp and stuff, but never a bee. Uh, as long as we don't get stung a lot, I think that we'll probably add to the hive a little bit and maybe make, make it a little bit bigger, so. Here we go. Okay, Jill still can't talk, but we're super excited um, because these are the bees. This is a box of bees. <laughs> and um, when we get home, we're gonna open this little doorway right there up so that they can, uh, and then we'll sit them on top Tomorrow. of this hive. Yeah, and that way they can, um, uh, they can start getting into the hive. But the guy is helping us so much. He's very helpful. He is gonna sell us a little feeder that we didn't have and he has all the supplies and he lives pretty close which is nice but yeah there's the top sh shelf and then she already took out the the three racks that are in here are eventually we're just gonna put them right in here and then um, they'll start they'll basically start making um, they're expanding their hive to these other racks so 
is it is it called racks? Is that I say that right? Frames. Frames. Sorry, I knew I was wrong. So, anyway, I'm very excited about getting them, and the best part is they're all enclosed in there, so I'm not going to get stung tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got it leveled. All you see is the light from my uh, headlamp, but we just got it set here level on some bricks, and I checked to make sure it was good and level. And Jill is going to get the bees. Okay, she added the feeder right there. So that's the feeder, and we'll put sugar water in here. Oh, there's a bee. Already looking for the sugar water. <laughs> All right, you ready? Just another Wednesday night at Camp David. Oh, don't squish the bees. She's trying to decide whether or not to put the suit on. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. There they I are, don't know bees. where they all came from. They're just finding their way out somehow. Well, they're pretty dormant right now or so this is the door I have to get open right Yeah, so. you're gonna have to move the bees away from the door so you can open it You know, these are the kind of problems we encounter on a Wednesday night in Camp David <laughs> They're all over the back of my truck. Yeah, there are they're bees all over the back of her truck. I, you probably can't see them, but Yeah, they're all yeah here. everywhere and she said, no, they're not going to get out. Well, you're the one that hit all the bumps on the way home. Oh, yeah. I, I, it's all you my fault. I shook up the bees. I hit the bumps. Right. So they're just, they're not very active right now, which is great. But they're coming out of that lid. I just saw one drop. But uh, <sighs> still kind of freaky. We're going to leave the bed of my truck open tonight. Yeah, hopefully they'll all find their way out, right? Yeah. Are you nervous? Um. She had her phone in her pocket and it buzzed and it freaked her out. <laughs> All right, here we go. Do you want to put your suit on? No. <laughs> All right. Here the bees go to their new home. I'm surprised you're this close. Well, I can run really fast. <laughs> Don't trip and fall. <laughs> They told us just to set them on top and put the door opening on the box door opening, which is right there, the same side as the hive door opening, which is right down there. So now what we have to do is open up this little door on the box and see if we can get them to, well, then they'll just stay in there tonight, but then in the morning, once it gets warm enough, they'll start flying out and of that little door and looking around for another area to be so then in the morning what Jill's gonna do again is take open the top up and basically take those uh, frames that are in there and put them into the hive and they just move right down is it coming out or no yeah no wait now now put that uh, that screwdriver in that hole on the side no on the side and pop that up yeah, like this, watch. Right here. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then pop it up. Oh gosh. They could all start flying out now. Oh, yeah, here they come. <laughs> okay, right when the bees started to fly around us, I heard one buzzing around my head. We all kind of ran off and the camera battery died. Perfect timing, but I'm heading back up to the hive to see if Jill's gotten stung yet. <laughs> How are you doing? They're mad? I don't like that. I don't want to run over you. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Oh. 
Was it flying around? <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? I think I just got stung. You got stung? Yeah. You felt it? Yeah, I felt it. <laughs> Through your shirt? I'm busy. Buzzing. You yeah. were, is it really hurting? Yeah. Oh, she got stung already. Well, that was quick. Do I have any on me? No? It's open. We're going to leave him alone. You're just going to leave him alone now? Well, it's open. Yeah. yeah. But I need to go look at my arm. Do I have anybody anywhere else? Uh, see, I think we should wear a beekeeper suit. <laughs> well, there's a ton in here. But I think we're just going to leave them be. No yeah. pun intended. <laughs> um, there's none in my hair or anything. <laughs> no. Yeah, I got stung. Did you? Yeah, you I felt can it? feel it. <laughs> oh no. I'm okay. Already? <laughs> that didn't take long. I have the creepy crawlies right now. <laughs> You regretting this bee thing yet? No. <laughs> I just want to make sure there's no more on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No, you don't have any on you. Yeah, he stung me. You can feel it for sure. Yeah. Smarts a little bit. It just it actually it's a pinch, but I want to go make sure we got the stinger out. Yeah. He went right through your shirt. Yeah, he did. He was mad at you. Oh so, fun. Jill the beekeeper. So this is part one. Stung on the first night. I'm okay. It's not <laughs> that bad actually. Well that's good. So I'll be okay. Alright. Well, how did it go getting the bees into their hot or onto their hive? Yeah, they're not in there they're yet. They're not even in there yet, but first night, and uh, as you know by now, we had a victim of a bee stinger. It's okay, though. Um, thank goodness I had a thick sweatshirt on. There it is. But he still went through the sweatshirt. <laughs> he got her he first was sting. Mad. Well, at least now you know what it feels like. Yeah, actually, I think it would have been worse had I not had that thick sweatshirt on. Probably, yeah. Because the stinger didn't stay in there. Yeah. So, are you glad you got the bees into their or onto their habitat? Yes, and I'm not mad at the bee. I feel bad because he died. Because yeah, I'm actually shocked that he stung in the dark. Because they said usually in the dark they won't sting. Yeah. So I don't know if because we had headlamps on or maybe. But I know tomorrow for sure I'm gonna smoke them before and, I move the And you're the gonna have your in. bee suit on. And I will put the bee suit on. I didn't. I had gloves on at least, but I didn't really think I would need it tonight. And so lesson 101, and the guy even said that we picked up the bees. It's not if you get stung, it's when you get stung. Well, you just heard that right up, didn't you? I just wanted to, you know, I'm an overachiever. <laughs> get it over just with. Just get it done and over with. What freaked me out the most was seeing them crawling everywhere. I don't know why. And then when I saw him on my shirt, and I felt that sting. The sting didn't scare me. It was the fact that something was crawling on me and I was wondering how many more were crawling on me. I well, just and you're in the like dark. Them. And that's what I don't it like. It sounds like messing around with bees in the dark is sort of <laughs> intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> so for all you new beekeepers out there, I don't recommend doing it in the dark, but we had to do it tonight. Um, the nook came in tonight and we had to go get them. So, <laughs> My first bee experience was at night. <laughs> yep. I mean, when we picked up that box, there was not a single bee anywhere. No. And then when we got home, there was bees everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I blame that on the driver. I couldn't not hit bumps. <laughs> he was bumps. driving good. I don't yeah. know what to do. He was driving really good. And, you know, the box is moving. They get so out. I'm sure it shook yeah. him up a little bit. They get out. So, anyways, I'm still really excited. I can't wait to bring you guys along on this journey, but I'm gonna go put something on this right now. <laughs> All right, the many adventures of homesteading at Camp David. So we still have to get the bees from the box into Yeah, they're gonna be the swarming hive. all over you. At least you'll have a bee suit on. Yeah, so. Gosh, but to know that they can get through a sweatshirt kind of freaks me out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, surely not. No, maybe it was in my head and no, it wasn't, so. All right. Tomorrow, more fun. Yep. And this is why I'm so apprehensive about getting bees. I just hope these things don't end up like swarming us around the property. 
Oh boy. The but kids running. You know, like I said, just another Wednesday night at Camp David. We're now apiarists. What do we call it? Apiaries. We're ists, though, right? Apiarists. Sure. Yeah. Here we go. She's ready to go out and transfer the uh the nuke into the hive. We got our smoker ready. She's all <laughs> okay, can you carry that? No. That's Wait. the this is the nectar for the hive. Here she goes. I'm gonna stand way back when she's doing this. Because I don't want to be anywhere near these swarming bees. Here she goes. There she goes. She put smoke in there. Trying not to upset them. Are you nervous? Yes, yes she said yes. <laughs> She's filling the feeder. That's the nectar or half and half water and sugar, yeah. Don't spill that on yourself, they'll love you. They're swarming you, I think you should smoke them more. <clears throat> okay, now she's lifting it. Smoke them. Oh, I see him landing on her jeans. I hope they don't sting her. She's so brave, I'll tell you. Are you getting stung? Dad, some of them are just falling. You're doing good, babe. Don't bat them. She's doing it. Were they just bad last night? No, they weren't all out last night. She's <laughs> blowing the smoke in her face. She's almost done. She's got one more to do, and then she's done. Or two. She did two at once. Uh, yeah. Have you gotten stung yet? Oh, that's good. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that's not me over there. I'm like, I've got like one foot behind me ready to run away when these things come over here. Oh, I didn't even think about that. They're gonna follow you over here. <laughs> she's 
He did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is there a lot in there? I hope the queen's not in there. Jill the beekeeper. <laughs> She's trying to get him off of her. <laughs> you did it. You did it quick. I'm shocked. Yeah. And you didn't get stung at all? Wow. How do you feel? Accomplished? Yes. Bees all over you. There no, I'm just joking. There's none. I don't see any on you, actually. Wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> I couldn't have done that. <laughs> no way. What do you think? It's cool. It's cool. It was a little scary. Yeah, a little scary because they're all swarming around you and you see them all over that screen and stuff. Yeah. yeah. She's still not feeling good. She has some pretty bad laryngitis. Mom's I don't see any bees on you. I really don't. Mom's a trooper. They, uh, they didn't follow you over here, so. Oh, they're gonna be so happy in their new home. Yeah. I hope I didn't hurt the queen. Zip that around. Around. No, other way. There you go. Yeah, I hope you didn't hurt the queen because if you did, then we're in trouble. You did it. Hopefully you get your voice back soon. Yeah, we'll keep you guys posted how things are going. So, I hope you guys liked it. <laughs> it was entertaining for me.